Hey guys, Christina here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a bit of a short break from the whole Inktober nightmare that is happening here on YouTube um, and that I'm taking part of. Um, but I think you guys are really going to enjoy it and I'm actually very excited about this video because it's a collab with a very, very talented artist here on YouTube. Uh, I'm talking about Will from Unmask Art. Um, I would assume that most of you already know who he is and you've seen his work, but you know, if you haven't, um, I would leave links to his channel and he's part of this collab uh, in the description down below so you can go ahead and check his stuff out. But before I say anything more about Will, I want to tell you a bit about the idea behind this collab. Um, basically, um, what happened was uh, me and Will, we've been subscribed to each other's channels for a little while now and I've been wanting to work, work with him for ages. And one day I was kind of like, well, what do I have to lose? I'm just going to ask him if he would like to do a collab with me. And he actually said yes. And that was super exciting for me. I definitely didn't expect that he's going to agree. Um, but it was really cool of him to agree and we started kind of brainstorming ideas about what we wanted to do uh, We had a few ideas, but ultimately we decided to do uh, Something that it's not a hundred percent original collab uh, It's been done um, before on YouTube But I still think we managed to put our unique spin on it and it's still kind of different than what other people have been doing um, but we decided to do um, this thing where he draws one half of a picture and I draw the other half and we put the two halves together and it's still one scene but done by two different artists. So it's kind of like what Bailey and Art a la carte um, did a um, long time ago where one of them drew a fairy and the other one drew a mermaid. It's kind of like that, but instead of one of us finishing their half and sending it to the other person, uh, we decided that we're going to start working on both halves at the same time and we're not going to show each other what we're doing because that way we'll be able to express fully our unique styles and ideas and we really wanted to show a bit of our different background um, in those pictures. So that was really interesting. And uh, Will came up with the idea to draw two people that are in a coffee shop and um, you know I drew one of the people he draws the other person and they're both sitting at the same table so the one thing that sort of is shared between the two drawings and that was kind of set in stone was the table that you see um, in like the right end of my drawing and the other half of that table is in Will's uh, drawing. And the other thing was that painting above the table, actually. Um, at first, um, we didn't even agree if it's going to be a window or a painting. It was kind of open for interpretation. And it, every one of us was uh, able to do with it whatever um, they want to do. So I really wanted to express as much as I could about myself in this piece, maybe a few fun facts about me uh, because you know I don't usually draw like full body figures and I don't usually draw scenes like this so I wanted to make it a lot of fun for myself and I wanted to make it something that tells a story so I, I made the character kind of look like me hence the crooked nose <laughs> I tend to break my falls with my nose so it's been broken like five times so far I think and it's not the straightest thing in the world. Um, another thing would be my drink. I refuse to drink hot drinks. So every time my friends say, let's go for a tea or a coffee, I'm kind of like, oh, I don't need to drink something from like the baby juice section again because I can't drink tea, can't drink coffee. I really don't like warm drinks at all. Um, as far as the interior in my part of the drawing goes, I drew inspiration from a real actual place here in Glasgow. It's called the Willow Tea Rooms. And uh, as you might be able to tell by the chair in this drawing, uh, the furniture there is a bit funky looking. It's a bit weird, uh, but that's because it's been designed by arguably the most famous um, 
architect in Scotland and um, some of you might know that I study architecture so I'm kind of fascinated with his work and I actually used to live in the same building that he used to live in so he's kind of like always there no matter what I do <laughs> um, but uh, yeah so that's why I decided on that specific location and it's a bit of an old-fashioned place which kind of clashes with everything that I like um, but I still enjoy it for some reason I don't know there's just something about it that's really nice and um, Oh, the last thing that I kind of uh, wanted to do is in some way show my um, Bulgarian background. I don't think I've ever mentioned that before, but I am originally from Bulgaria and it's obviously, you know, a country that's influenced me a lot as a person and as an artist. So for me it was important to share that with you guys. So that's why you get the roses in the painting because Bulgaria is very famous for you know producing rose oil and particularly that part of Bulgaria where I'm from um, like it's known as the Valley of Roses. So roses have always had a very special meaning uh, to me and they're one of my favorite flowers for that reason. Um, as far as materials go for my part of the drawing I I've used everything. I started with light washes of watercolor, then I added um, markers and pencils on top of that. Um, and I used some of my gold Windsor and Newton ink for some of the details. Basically, that's what Inktober does to you. <laughs> you know, I've been feeling a bit deprived from every other medium apart from ink. So it was a really nice break from everything that I've been doing this month. Now, um, back to Will. I, I don't know where to start. He's so amazingly talented. Um, if you haven't seen his work, please go ahead and look at it. Because it's mind-blowing, it's kind of unfair <laughs> that one person <laughs> can be so perfect in so many different things. But he's great at like photorealism and then he's amazing and like kind of the... Um, manga style. He's so good with every medium that I've seen him use. It's insane. <laughs> it's really, really insane. And the really cool thing is that he makes a lot of videos that are tutorials where he actually takes the time to um, give advice and help out people that might be struggling. And then he does some videos where he just talks about his life um, and he has a really cool story. So he shares with his viewers a lot about his uh, personal life, which is really, really cool and uh, really exciting. Some of the news that he has, you know, they, they just make you smile. Um, it's really nice and it's really sweet. And I, I can't express how grateful I am that he decided to work with me and he came up with this amazing idea for this collab. I, I'm just mind blown. So all the links for his work will be down below and I'm also going to um, like annotate um, a picture in the end of this video so you can click on that and go to his video. I'll um, do that as soon as his video is up. Um, but yeah, I mean really really incredible person. Thank you all so much for giving me this opportunity and for working with me. And thank you so much everyone else who watched this video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. I really love the final result. It's just our styles are so different but still they somehow work. And I think it was a really, really interesting challenge to work on and to be part of. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.